Okay, so here is 30 FPS locked gameplay of widescreen Silent Hill. Um, in order to get it to actually run at 30 smoothly, you have to overclock to 200%. I just want to show a little bit of footage just to show like, hey, it looks really nice and pretty. And I also set it up so that it sounds good too. Because there's a setting in the audio that you'll also have to change so that it doesn't fuck up the... It'll garble a lot of the audio. Well, not a lot of the audio. It's, it's actually not very much. It's not even really that big of a deal. But, you know... Better to not have fucked up audio, right? Especially in a what game with this? such good music. What's going on here? Right here, this music will actually start to get all crunchy and noisy and gross sounding. But as you can tell, it sounded perfectly fine. And then you get nice, beautiful widescreen cutscenes. The way Takayoshi Sato probably intended this shit to look. That man is a Was genius. He did the uh, he feel? did all of the CGI for oh, those like pre-rendered cutscenes for Silent Hill One and Two. But I'm all right, I guess. And then he left before Silent Glad Hill Three. That's you why Silent here? Hill Three doesn't have those cutscenes. Why don't you tell me what happened? So yeah. You can see, you know, nice smooth, smooth gameplay. And it does jump up in frame rate when you grab an item, too, which I guess, you know, again, might annoy people, but rather than playing this game in 15 frames per second, I would rather have it be nice and smooth at 30. But that's just me. Um, so, let's go into the settings. So what we have here, we're going to be setting in console settings. You want to enable overclocking and set it to 200%. Um, I also set my read and seek speeds up to four just because it makes all the sections load quicker. Um, certain games, though, won't like that, and I think it might. I don't know, cause the game to either crash or it'll just cause things to not load properly. That was actually an issue if you burned games originally for PS1 and you burn them at a faster speed than one times speed, it would also cause that issue. Sometimes, only on certain games, but um, so we want vertical sync and sync to host refresh rate so that it'll always be trying to hit 60 at all times and then you want to hit graphic settings with whatever resolution you use for your computer um, you can do texture filtering but you have to add the no edge blending otherwise the textures will have this outline effect on them and it looks really bad like, here, I'll actually show the difference between the two. Because it's right What's after that? this. Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? It's a very obvious effect, and it's really shitty looking. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? I really hope this gets remade too. That Silent Hill 2 remake was incredible. Okay, so this texture right here on the cafe, 5 to 1. If I set this to be just bilinear, you'll see it adds this gross outline effect so yeah you definitely want to set that to no edge blending 
Which is weird, because you would think no edge blending would be what would have, like, an outline effect on it. At least that's what I thought when I was looking through the settings. Um, but, you know, whatever. And so what else? Uh, you have to set the aspect ratio to 16.9, which most people do, but then they don't do this, which is widescreen rendering. That will actually render all the 3D stuff in 16.9 instead of in 4.3, because what you're generally doing, like if you just set it to 16.9, it'll stretch everything from 4.3 to 16.9. Widescreen rendering forces it to re-render everything in the proper resolution. And then PGXP geometry correction, correction I can't speak, um, that just reduces the wobbly polygons, as it says here. Um, if you like that effect for whatever reason, then, you know, don't turn that on. Don't use the depth buffer, at least for Silent Hill. I don't know how other games work, but Silent Hill, it will affect a lot of textures and force them to phase in and out of existence because they used just 2D planes that they kind of bump mapped so that they would look like they're sitting on whatever model they're on, but it's actually just an image. It's a decal that's floating in 3D space. Um, also, if you prefer the 4.3 FMVs, you can set force 4.3 and it'll always automatically flip back and forth. And I've used this in other games because obviously a lot of games are designed with 4.3 FMVs, unlike this one. Um, but yeah, I find it works great without it in this. And I don't think... I don't know if I set these three on, but you have perspective correct textures, culling correction, and preserve projection precision. I can't remember if I turned these on or not. Because I, I did three separate videos, and now I forget what settings I turned on there. But the other very important setting is stretch mode. So you want to switch it from time stretch to resampling. Because changing the frame rate will cause... With time stretch, it's basically having to fill in the gaps where there isn't actually sound. And digitally, that's a nightmare. Like, it'll just cause garbled, shitty sound. Resampling is basically taking the audio and reinterpolating where those points are and then just making it shift the pitch if it ends up playing faster or slower. Which, you know, I, I'm sure some people probably don't won't like this, but I don't really notice it. Because it's such a small difference in the frame rate, too. Like, I doubt you would really notice it unless you've listened to the soundtrack on CD like 8,000 times. Um, but yeah, so that, that'll fix the audio issue. And then you're good to go. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. So that gives you HD Silent Hill 1. So you can impress all your friends. I don't, I have no idea. Anyways, enjoy.